Good morning, Hounds. Today is Thursday, March 10th, 2011. I'm Holly Dutcher. And I'm Kelsey Ashbrook. Holly and I are over at the Florida Strawberry Festival over in Plant City, Florida. Stay tuned because a sweet episode of BGN starts now. Hey, Kelsey, are we at the youth fair? Not quite. We're still at the Strawberry Festival. It's just with the Hillsborough County animals. Oh, well, you know, their cows and their hogs look fantastic, but our Polk County ones stick it to them. Oh, yeah, we definitely kick their tail. You know, I love the animals, but what else is there to do here at the Strawberry Festival? How about we take an inside look to see how great the Strawberry Festival really is? Well, you know, Kelsey, spring break looks like it's going to be nice weather. I can't wait. I'm so excited, but for right now, I'm tired of these little kid rides. Let's go on something big and macho like the Hulk. Well, um, Kelsey, the Hulk sounds like a blast, but it's not here at the Strawberry Festival. It's at Universal Studios. Man, that's right. But isn't there something going on at Universal? Yes, on April 29th, Grad Bash will be held at Universal Studios. Make sure you get your tickets as soon as possible because sales end tomorrow. Tickets are sold in Miss Mill's room or Coach Ash's room and are $75, so stop by there as soon as possible. Kelsey and I are going to stick around here at the Strawberry Festival and find something big kiddish to do. So you guys stay tuned for a commercial break. Mm. Oh my goodness. How is it, Kelsey? You devour the entire thing. It's amazing, and you want to know because you haven't even taken one bite yet. I'm embracing the look and the smell of Parkdale's own genuine strawberry shortcake. That's Billy. If you're going to come to the Strawberry Festival, you have to eat your shortcake. Of course you do, because these strawberries were homegrown here in Plant City, Florida. Exactly, and the Strawberry Festival ends on Sunday, so get out here as soon as possible. Well, Kelsey and I enjoy our last few hours here at the Strawberry Festival. Everyone, make sure you have a fantastic Thursday. And stay safe for spring break. You know what, Kelsey? I really got to get back in this exercise routine. I know what you mean, but I think I've got the exercising thing down. It's more the Cheeto Puffs than the empty calorie foods. Do you know how bad Cheeto Puffs are for you? They have so many calories. I haven't really thought about it. To the grocery store, to the chips aisle. Maybe you should watch this. Stay tuned for some alternate choices to our beloved empty calorie foods. <sighs> oh my goodness. What's wrong? I, I haven't just I haven't done this in a while. But now it teaches me to lay off those Cheeto Puffs and pick up some apples and peanut butter. It's crazy how many healthy snacks are out there that can replace our empty calorie foods. Exactly. Live life in moderation. By living life in moderation, you're allowed to treat yourself every now and then. Like every day during all lunch periods, you can pick up a slushie for $2 from the FBLA room. Or on Fridays like such as today, you can get freshly baked cookies that melt in your mouth and have some chocolatey goodness. Those sound delicious, but if you're not in the mood to donate your dollar to FBLA, donate for Pasta for Pennies. Their fundraiser is continuing into next week. They benefit the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society for treating cancer patients. However, we kind of have to get back to exercising, so how about we stay tuned for some exercising tips. You know what, Kelsey? I learned so much about breakfast foods. Oatmeal, fruit, cereals are all terrific choices for the early morning. Cold pizza just won't cut it anymore. That's right. Leftovers are not a good source of protein. They're usually high in calories, and they won't start your day off right. Just not good for breakfast. Save it for some hectic dinner times. I agree. But before we start our three and a half day weekend off, everybody, good luck on your final exams. Well, luckily for me, my sixth period, I all I have to do is a presentation. No AP final. Sounds like you lucked out, but for the rest of us, we're going to ace that thing. Good luck to everybody, and we hope you have a fantastic Friday. And an awesome weekend. 1,001! Kelsey, you're killing me. Come on, Holly, gotta keep this up. Keep going, keep going. Push it, push it. You just keep on going, you got this. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Monday, March 7th, 2011. I'm Holly Dutcher. And I'm Kelsey Ashworth. Make sure you stay tuned for BGN News. Because a striking edition starts now. Kelsey, what are you doing? I'm plugging in our names for our game. Don't you remember? I'm sorry, I haven't been here since I was nine, but there is two things I remember. Number one, it's these duck feet. They so look like clown shoes. <laughs> but regardless, the second thing I remember was having a lot of fun. I know, Cy is it Cypress Slings me? Yes, and oh my goodness, I have a great idea. Let's show everybody else. Everybody stay tuned. You know, 
like, Kelsey, why are we dancing at the bowling alley? I'm not really sure, to be quite honest. <laughs> well, you know what? That sounds like a problem. But tonight in the HS gym from 6.30 to 8 is ballroom dancing. Exactly. The junior class is holding Dancing with the Stars to get ready for prom. Come on out because prom is literally right around the corner on April 2nd. And speaking of prom, stay tuned for a prom commercial coming up next. Wait, Holly, hold on a second. What's up, Kelsey? Um, before you bowl, we forgot to take care of announcements. Oh, crap. Other sports are happening tonight. Exactly. For example, the softball game. They're playing against Haines City. JV is at 5.30 and varsity begins at 7 o'clock. Also, the boys' baseball team is playing against Winter Haven High School. Varsity begins at 6 o'clock. Now, don't miss both of these great games. Now, now you can go back to bowling since we have a commercial break coming up. Thank you. I'm ready to get this strike. Fail. Well, Kelsey, it looks like that's all we have for the show today. Our show may be over, but our bowling game definitely is not. I know, right? Richard, our cameraman, and I are tied right now, but we have plenty of game left to play. They better watch out. I'm going to kick y'all's tail in the end. Well, I guess only time will tell, so we'll see. <laughs> Make sure you stay tuned for the word and quote of the day. Have a striking Monday, hounds. Good morning, Hounds. Today is Friday, February 11, 2011. I'm Kelsey Ashbrook. And I'm Holly Dutcher. Today we are at the House of Flowers over on Berkeley Road. We're getting ready for Valentine's Day, which is coming up on Monday. So stay tuned because the lovey-dovey dose of BGN starts now. Like we said, Holly and I are at the flower shop located on Berkeley, right next to our Auburndale Walmart. Here's a heads up for all you boyfriends. This is the perfect place to buy a girl some flowers. Exactly. They look lovely and they smell amazing. Yes, they do. But Kelsey, here's a question for you. What do we buy our guys for Valentine's Day? That's a toughie, and every girl is asking that on Valentine's Day. I agree, so stay tuned for this next segment talking all about what to get your guy for Valentine's Day. Yeah, so Red Lobster is going to be a blast. I'm so excited for this weekend. It sounds like it, and I finally know what to get my guy. You'll definitely have to tell me after the show. I'll be all yours. I will, but first we have several things to attend to this Friday afternoon. The sophomore class meets in Mr. Ninja Room from 2 to 3 p.m. Make sure you stop by because anyone is welcome to attend. Also, the NJROTC ball will be held this afternoon. All guys dressed in uniform, make sure you attend. And don't forget to buy cookies from FELA. They're chocolatey and major delicious and are two for a dollar, so make sure you stop by. Also, stay tuned for a commercial on the House of Flowers. <sighs> Kelsey, they smell so good. I know, I could be here for hours. Oh, so could I, but we have other business to attend to. Oh, yes we do. We have the word in quote of the day. So while you stay tuned and watch that, we're going to go pretty up for our dates this weekend. Oh, definitely, because everybody knows we're always pretty in pink. <laughs> so stay pretty in pink and have a great Friday. Have a lovely weekend, pal. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, Hounds. Today is Thursday, January 27, 2011. I'm Kelsey Ashbrook. And I'm Holly Dutcher. Today we are on location at the Polk County Youth Fair in Bartow, Florida. Make sure you stay tuned because an agricultural special at BGN starts now. Today we're hanging out at the Polk County Youth Fair with all the neat farm animals like hogs, cows, rabbits, and chickens. Armando's own FFA participates in this youth fair every single year, and this year we're joining them in the front seat. Later on in the show, we'll give you more information on who's entered and what they've entered. But first, let's go to the history of the Polk County Youth Fair. Now, the Polk County Youth Fair doesn't only showcase farm animals. They also have other things to offer. These include cake decorating, a chili cook-off, arts and crafts, photography, and much more. However, if you're not in the mood to go to the Youth Fair, how about you check out the girls' basketball team? Tonight, they're playing at McKeel Academy. JV is at 6 o'clock and varsity is at 7.30. However, there's also soccer taking place. The boys' soccer plays at Lake Gibson to continue their district's tournament. Good luck, our boys' soccer teams. Let's bring home the gold for AHS. Like we mentioned earlier, Auburn is a big competitor in the Polk County Youth Fair. So Auburn had the chance to talk to Mr. Toy, the head of our agriculture department, for more information. That wraps up our show today and our adventure here at the Youth Fair. 
It's been a blast and I'll definitely be back next year to see the animals once again. I don't think this is the best place for me. <laughs> well, you know, I can see that by your safari hat, but that's okay. Your hat's on backwards. No, it's not. And I'm the one that doesn't belong here. Anymore. Mm, exactly. <laughs> we'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow on BGN News. Have a terrific Thursday, Harry. <laughs> What are you doing to that poor chicken? I'm, I'm talking to him. I'm going to rescue him later. You don't deserve this so-called cowboy hat. Our girls cheerleading team has done a magnificent job this season and plan on going even farther. Good luck girls, you've done a great job. Now Holly and I have the problem of a grumbling stomach. Yes we do. You know what Kelsey I want? I want one of those Italian sausages behind us. No thank you. I want a super dog. <sighs> well you go get your super dog and I'm going to get my sausage. Well I will. Stay tuned for a commercial break while we go get something to eat. <laughs> Well, I've had a good time today. It looks like it, what, you've won a straw, you've got some kettle corn. It looks like you're good until next year. Oh, you betcha, but our day at the fair isn't over yet. Oh, no, it's not. We're going to hang out here for a little bit longer, and, and we'll look at the rest of the exhibits. But make sure you stay tuned for the wedding play of the day after the show, guys. Have a great Friday. Good morning, Arbondale. Today is Monday, February 7th, 2011. I'm Holly Dutcher. And I'm Kelsey Ashbrook. Holly and I are at the Lakeland SPCA visiting our neighborhood hounds. Stay tuned because this edition of BGN News is going to be totally pet filled. So don't go away. As Kelsey said earlier, we're here at the Lakeland SPCA. Specifically, we're at the Adoption Center. Adopting is one of the easiest ways to save an animal's life. Hey Kelsey, have you ever considered adopting an animal? Uh, maybe. I don't know because I've got two dogs at home and tons of fish and I don't know if there's room. <laughs> well, you know, honestly, it sounds like you need one. You know, SPC has thousands of animals each year. We can all do our part by adopting a few. So make sure you stay tuned for some more information on the adoption process. <laughs> Kelsey, what are you laughing about? Do you not see the cat right there? He's like, Friday, December 17th, 2011. 
2010. I'm Kelsey Ashbrook. And I'm Holly Dutcher. BGN starts now. Hey Holly, do you know what today is? Hmm. It's the last day before winter break begins. Exactly. At 2 o'clock, our 17-day vacation begins. However, Holly and I are starting our vacation a wee bit earlier. We're here at the Gaylord Palmsa Resort in Kissimmee, Florida. After this, Kelsey, what are you going to be up to? I'm going to be hanging with family and friends, and I'm going to be catching on some much-needed sleep. Same here. Let's see what other AHS students have planned for the winter vacation. Here at AHS, we have several fundraisers that go on weekly. FBLA sells slushies and cookies in room S50. Slushies are sold every day during all lunch periods for $2, and cookies are sold on Friday, two for $1. Get your delicious treat today. Here's a question for all you AHS students. Do you know the history of a Christmas tree? Stay tuned to find out. I never knew this is why we haul a giant Christmas tree into our house every holiday season. Now the clubs don't only sell tasty treats, the classes do too. The junior class sells hot chocolate in the chilly mornings in room N4. Get these hot treats for a dollar a cup. The sophomore class has a quick bite stand every afternoon in the North Campus Courtyard. They're having a 50% off sale today, so get these tasty treats. They sell anything ranging from sodas to Powerades and from, from cinnamon rolls to candy. So stop. Me and Kelsey, I've really had a blast here. It's been amazing, and that snow thing is the real thing. It sure is. If you want to join in the family fun, be sure to get out here by January 2nd, 2011, when the exhibit comes to an end. Make sure you get here before it's too late. Now stay tuned to the word and quote of the day, and we'll see you back here in 2011. Have a fabulous Friday and a cheerful and safe holidays, hounds. Good morning, Hounds. Today is Friday, January 28, 2011. I'm Holly Dutcher. And I'm Kelsey Ashbrook. Today, Holly and I are AHS parent and freshman night in our AHS gym. Make sure you stay tuned because BGN News starts now. This is a very informative night for not only present AHS students, but also incoming freshmen. Now for this night, in case you missed it, we have an inside look on what went on at the 2011 AHS parent night. Stay tuned to see this amazing event. Wow, it looks like AHS got a lot of really positive feedback on this event. It really stinks if anyone happened to miss out. It definitely does. However, something you don't want to miss out on is pasta for pennies. Today is the last day to donate to your third period teacher to win that Olive Garden dinner. The pasta for pennies benefits the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, so make sure you don't miss out. Let's all get out there and donate. Also this afternoon, the FBLA will be having a meeting in room S51. Officers meeting begins at 2 o'clock and general members meeting begins at 2.20. Also next Tuesday on February 1st will be the Kim Club meeting in the Savages room. Let's all come out here and get involved. Now another thing going on with FBLA is that they sell freshly baked cookies in room S50. They're chocolatey and delicious and are two for a dollar, so make sure you get yours today. Another thing FBLA sells are slushies. Slushies are sold every day during all lunch periods for two dollars. Get a delicious treat today. They come in a variety of flavors, so don't miss out. Now make sure you all stay tuned for a commercial break. Oh man, Kelsey, it looks like this night has come to an end. Oh well, a lot of information has been handed out and it's been so much fun. It definitely has. Everyone be sure to attend 2012, it's going to be even better. You betcha. But for right now, you make sure you stay tuned to the word and quote of the day for after the show. Have a fantastic Friday and a wonderful weekend, hounds. You must go, we need talent. Actors. We, we are not begging. Money. We are telling. We need a talented actors now in BGN. Now, you must call 1-800-BGN News. Call today. 1-800-BGN News. Call. Now. Call now. Get on the phone. Yes. Good morning, Hounds. Today is Friday, January 14th, 2011. I'm Holly Dutcher. I found one. And I'm Kelsey Asher. BGN starts now. On today's show, we're on the hunt. The hunt for money. We're looking for some spare change to donate for pasta for pennies. All proceeds go to the Leukemia Society to help find the cure for cancer. And the winning class receives an Olive Garden dinner, which our third period will receive. But Kelsey, we only have 38 cents. Well, if we keep looking, I'm sure we'll find enough change in this house to fill that entire bucket. Well, we're looking for some more change. Stay tuned for more information on pasta for pennies. Holly, I found a penny. 39 cents. <laughs> Let's get going. Looks like this Olive Garden dinner is definitely going to be one to remember. Make sure you donate all your spare change to help out pasta for pennies. 
and Holly and I found another quarter. That's 64 cents total in the bucket. Now tonight we have many sporting events taking place. The boys basketball team is taking on Kathleen here at home while the girls are away. JV begins at 6 o'clock and varsity begins at 7.30. There are a lot of interesting things happening around the nation that unless we watch the news regularly, us teenagers wouldn't know about. But each Friday on BGA, we'll be giving you a weekly recap on what happened around the nation. I got it! That's awesome! Now we have a total of $10.97. That's only from searching the couch downstairs, and guess what will happen when we search the couch upstairs and the bed? We'll have at least $20. You guys better watch out. Definitely. We're going to win that dinner. Wait a minute. Now that I think about it, we have two entirely different third periods. Well, it looks like that's it for today. Oh, you have Miss Hope and I have Miss Jasmine. This is uncool. Have a magical day, Hounds, and a fierce weekend. You've got to be kidding me. My money!